Live with Paul Lindman, Kathy Marshall, and Helen Raptors. Now, here are Paul and Kathy. Well, you know, I, I'm thinking about all the girls' nights. Kathy, you and I have had a couple girls' nights out, you know, where we grab a glass of wine and we spill some. So we're talking about how to get holiday stains out of your carpet. And I'm with George Grijalva with Checkmate uh, Carpet Cleaning and Upholstery Cleaning. He's going to show us how to do all that. But first, I'm going to pull a little something on George, if he doesn't mind. You know, we were going to spill this red wine on this carpet that he had picked out, but George... Come on over here. This is George's, we're in George's house. And uh, this is George's carpet. His wife has left for a little bit. So you don't mind if I actually put it on your carpet, do you? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I sure wasn't expecting to be at my house, first of all. I thought I was going to be down there with you guys. Too bad. Here, George, <laughs> sorry. You can, let, let me just, you need to prove that you can get that, there you go, out of your carpet. And if George is going to do this later on, he's going to show us how we can get the red wine stains out, how we can get the coffee stains out, the salsa, and all that stuff. He says he can do it. You think he can? He caught me off guard, but you know what? I'm under pressure, and Checkmate can do it. Well, and your wife is coming back in, what, 20 minutes? You better get it out of there. Yeah, you're right. I better get started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll show you how he, how he says that you can do it. Simple, Some simple things you can do at home. Paul, Kathy? Boy, did I need George last night. We just paid a fortune to have all the carpets clean right before the holidays. I'm home eating a single cheese with ketchup and mayonnaise only, and whoosh. <laughs> Fortunately, Vicky wasn't home. And, and what color is the carpet, Paul? <laughs> well, it was kind of a charcoal, kind of <laughs> light gray, but oh, man, I could have used it last night. We'll find out how that comes out later. Does the red wine really come out? Is that going to be possible? Oh, well, it better. George's wife might have a thing or two to say, huh? <laughs> we'll find out. Hey, uh, whether you... just has some holiday help for you this morning when it comes to getting those carpets clean. Helen, how's it going? Well, let's just go right ahead. George, you go for it. This is the red wine that we spilled a little bit earlier. Go for it, George. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to blot up the stain as quickly as possible and once you blot up that stain pick a towel what you want to oh, do I got a lot out. it sure did that's why you want to get on it right away you want to take a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and ammonia okay. and you want to do 50 50 into a spray bottle and so you want to spray that onto the stain yeah and look at how that just disappeared right there you see it take that red out right yeah. away do some agitation with a spoon a household spoon and then what you can do is soak that up and if you have any residue left, what you want to do is do a nice mist again. So, yeah, let's say you wake up that morning and you notice, oh, my God, look, Paul and Kathy spilled all that wine from that party the night before. Jeez. Exactly. What okay. you can do is spray this on, agitate it, okay. put a phone book on, make sure they put some uh, uh, saran, saran wrap. wrap plastic down to keep it nice and wet. And in 24 hours, that stain should be gone. If, it, if, it, if it's still there, you may want to call a professional. Okay, like you. Like All right, me. Now we've got other stains to show you how to get rid right. of. So let's go ahead and show those. Let's we've do got it. some coffee, so I'm just going to pour some coffee out. There Woo, we go. Let's look pour at some that. coffee out and see if you can get rid of that. Well, of course, we sop it up. And then, uh, then there's salsa. Can I just do the salsa? We'll just do it. Just, if we have time, we have time. If we don't, we don't. Okay? <laughs> what you want to do is with salsa is you want to use a household spoon and you want to scoop it up. You don't want to just go right in with a rag and uh, start mashing all those uh, chili peppers and uh, uh, tomatoes oh, into, okay. your, into your fibers. Right. You want to be really careful not to scrub because otherwise you're going to blossom the tips on your fiber. So if you can get most of it up with a spoon like this. Don't want to have any blossoming fibers. Exactly. Then you can start blotting right away. Okay. And then you can take like a brush you don't care about. And that can help break it off of the fibers and get it to um, stick out. to the towel. Okay. Um, then what you want to do is you want to take uh, some dish detergent with one drop into a water bottle and you want to spray it on the stain. This is better steam. than all those things that you can buy at the store, like Resolve yeah. and all that other... Yeah, Resolve and Wool Light Carpet Cleaner will actually void your warranty. So you want to stay away from most of the things that are at your grocery store. What your manufacturer um, recommends is just some uh, dish detergent that doesn't have a lot of dye in it, like yeah. some green, and you can spray this in there, and you want to just make sure you get it wet enough so that it can do its job. Then you take a spoon again, which I have right here. You know, you're using your wife's, all, all your wife's good spoons there, Georgie. <laughs> and she's over there going, oh, oh we're going to yeah, have to look. replace those. And then what you want to do is you want to agitate that, leave that for about probably five minutes, but we don't have that much time. And we, what you want to do is you want to use a wet towel uh -huh. that's really, really hot. And you want to try to soak up most of that dish detergent so that you're not leaving any soap residue behind. Because you might get the stain out, but then the next thing you're going to find is you're going to have a dirt spot in a couple weeks. So you got to make sure you're using a wet towel and a dry towel so that when you get 
the the uh, the pollutants to come to the surface, you're getting them to stick to now, the dry towel. Now, let's say you've tried everything, doesn't work. Call a professional, right? Absolutely. And, and these are tough stains. Yeah. If if you don't do these techniques properly, you're going to need a professional right away. Well, we're going to have you keep working on that. But if you'd like more information, all you have to do is call Checkmate. The numbers will be on your screen shortly, or go to the website. Go to k2.com, and we'll put a link from our website to uh, Checkmates. Georgie, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank and, you, Helen. And I hope you can get this all cleaned up in time here. Oh, piece of cake. Okay, <laughs> Paul and Kathy. This guy is good, and I like that spoon deal, but on the salsa, wouldn't a chip work just as well? And <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, George and Helen. I love how he talks about agitating the carpet. The spouse is already agitated, but then you've got to agitate the carpet. We'll be back.